Well, a massive affordable housing neighborhood broke ground today in Greeley. It will include sports fields, community gardens, even child care centers. In addition to all of that, it also gives families the chance to become homeowners in an unforgiving market. Denver 7's Daniel Croyder has the story. These winding tubes of dried concrete may not look like much right now, but to Rachel Borum, they're everything. To be in front of this and calling it my home is just, it's uh, unreal. <laughs> Her home and the homes of more than 170 other families will be built here in South Greeley, the largest Habitat for Humanity project in the entire state. I've been trying to build up to get a down payment and I qualify like I have all the I think I have everything in line to get what I need to purchase a home and then the housing market just keeps going. The affordable housing project is a partnership with Greeley based Alquist 3D, which is printing several of the homes. The design knows exactly where the windows are, where the doors are, where the sockets are. We use giant robots that lay down concrete that is pumped through a hose system into the nozzle. The rest of the home is still built the same way as any other home. We still need our plumbers, electricians, roofers, carpenters, etc. It takes about 20 hours to 3D print a house. The benefits last a lifetime for the families who never thought they could call themselves homeowners. Now I can focus more on his education, college, and hopefully be able to save for him and his future and, and then look into retirement for me. In Greeley, hopefully this keeps going and that we could increase the availability to affordable housing across the state, across the nation. Like it's it's a need everywhere. I'm Danielle Croyder, Denver 7. The first 170 homes will be complete in 2029. By the final phase of the project, there will be more than 490 affordable housing units. And going into depth here, there is new support to help create more sustainable affordable housing in Colorado. Governor Polis signed a law today that requires local governments to identify housing needs in areas where residents are most at risk of displacement. It then provides uh, state resources and funding to uh, fix those housing problems.